Hey guys, it's Roast, and today I've got the first of what will be a series of videos on Lost Ark, the MMO that is coming to North America on February 11th. Today's video will be on the different classes in Ark, what they do best, and which one you should play based on your preferred playstyle. Comment below which class you want to try and why. I know that I will be playing the Gun Lancer because they're a tank with a massive tower shield and a gigantic lance slash cannon, and I honestly couldn't ask for more. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already, and if there's another topic you want me to cover, let me know. With that said, let's get started. In Lost Ark, there are five base classes, Warrior, Mage, Martial Artist, Assassin, and Gunner. And each of these base classes can choose an advanced class at level 10, which determines their primary role in combat. For most, this will be choosing to be a support or healer, a tank, or a DPS role. For some choices, it will be between different playstyles of those same roles. Let's talk about them in more detail, starting with the Warrior. The Warrior is based on big AoE melee attacks. Once you hit level 10, you can choose between the Gun Lancer, the Paladin, or the Berserker. The Gun Lancer is a tank who has abilities that do decent AoE damage, he can leap across the battlefield with their movement abilities, they can give buffs to their team, and they can pull enemies into one cluster so you can burst them down. If you like big defense phase tanking, this is the class for you. The Paladin swaps between support slash healing spells and damage, so if you prefer a more in-your-face support style of play, similar to the Cleric in D&D, the Paladin is made for you. The Berserker is your typical enraged warrior with big AoE DPS and abilities that are more focused on straight up dealing damage rather than control or buffing your team. If you want in-your-face hack and slash, the Berserker is your class. On to the Mage. The Mage is your standard spellcaster DPS class, who has tons of AoE damage, but only two advanced classes. Your choices are the Bard, for more support-based role where you provide buffs to allies and debuffs to enemies, and the Sorcerer Soul, which boosts your AoE and elemental damage. The Bard is best for players who prefer to support the party, and the Sorceress is best for those who love dealing huge AoE damage from far away. Let's move on to the Martial Artist. The Martial Artist takes the idea of the Warrior Monk and turns you into an unstoppable force on the battlefield. The Soul Fist Advanced class has you swap between ranged and melee forms in incredibly fluid combat, and so if you prefer to dance in and out of the fight while dealing decent DPS, this is the class for you. The War Dancer is a more melee and elemental base class that sees you channel the power of the four elements at your will to run through hordes of enemies without the slightest concern. If you have ever wanted to be a literal tornado on the battlefield, give War Dancer a try. The Scrapper Advanced class simplifies your kit down to a series of super strong punches and kicks similar to the Monk class in other games. The last Martial Artist Advanced class is the Striker, and it's kind of a middle ground between the Scrapper and the War Dancer. It gives you similar serious Martial Artist combos and infuses them with the power of the elements, which lets you do big damage with some nice visual flair to it. With that as covered, let's move on to the Assassin. The Assassin takes on a style similar to Rogues in other games. Their advanced classes are the Deathblade, which focuses lots on movement-based spins, blitzes, and getting behind your opponent for max damage, which means, for you WoW Rogue players, choose this one. And the Shadow Hunter, which gives you the powers of a demon to cleave through the battlefield. This advanced class is much better at big AoE than the other cl Assassin class, and kind of feels more similar to a Warrior-type class, but still looks to be super fun to play. And the last class I've got to talk to you guys about today is the Gunner. The Gunner has four different subclasses, and these advanced classes have significantly different playstyles. There are two that are more short-range focused, and two that are longer-range focused. The Deadeye class focuses mostly on short to mid-range combat with a, co with a shotgun, a rifle, and dual handguns. They can weave in and out of the fight with, and deal with threats even when they get close thanks to their really powerful shotgun. On the flip side, the Artillerist class works best at long ranges and does crazy AoE damage and also just offers decent battlefield control with abilities like Gravity Explosion. If you like Shock and Awe style combat or just massive ranged AoE nukes, the Artillerist is made for you. The Sharpshooter class also likes to work from long range but uses a bow and arrows instead of any guns. Their kit has lots of adaptability from AoE to single target and some movement spells as well. So if you main Hanzo and Overwatch, this is probably your go-to class. Lastly, we have the Gunslinger class. They carry a shotgun, dual pistols, and a sniper rifle, allowing them to engage from any range, although they excel in short-range fights by darting in and out with their shorter-range weaponry. These are all the classes in Lost Art we expect to be available at launch, and a short breakdown of what they do. Who are you planning on playing? Drop in the comments which class and why. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in-game when it launches on the 11th. I'm thinking of doing a clan if we can get some uh, oomph behind these videos, so let me know if you guys want to join a guild or something. Um, if I missed anything or you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. But with all that said, keep it beefy, boys. I'll catch you in the next video. Hello there. Hello.